Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited, it's been a few weeks since I've made a video, but I just came back from vacation. I went down to Lake Travis, which is just outside Austin, and I did a little bit of shopping while I was down there. In case some of you don't know, there is actually an Erin Condren store in Austin, Texas, and while I was down there, I was like, I have to stop by and see everything. So we went down there, got our masks on. There was about six of us and I was like, we're going to the Aaron Condren store. I don't care what anybody else says. So today I've got a little bit of a haul for you guys and there's a lot to get into. And this is the second time that I'm having to record this. So some of the items are open, but my camera messed up on me earlier. So let's go ahead and dive into all these products. So the first product that we have is the Hourglass set of three. I've been wanting this for a while. I just figured it'd look good on the desk. I actually have no purpose for this product at all, but I just really wanted it. And while I was there, I saw it on the shelf and I was like, okay, now's the time to pick this up. So I have already opened them and I've got them right here. So this is the 30 minute timer in that blue color. You've got the 20 minute in the aqua. And then I'm not sure what color this is. It it's, looks pink on the box, but it's, it's such a light shade. Um, it actually looks more like a sandy type color, which I really do appreciate because I was thinking the pink might be too much, but I really like this set. Uh, so these are gonna just sit on my desk. I, again, I have no purpose for them whatsoever, uh, but I really have been wanting these for a while. So I was glad to see them on the shelf. Oh, and like that tan line guys? Spent some time at the lake, got a little sunburned and my watch is dead. So just ignore that tan line. The next thing that I picked up, we actually went through the petite planner section while we were there and I picked up quite a few of them. So the first is the wellness log and this one uh, is for tracking your workouts, sleeping, food, all, all that good stuff. It's all about you know, getting healthier. And right now during these times when we're stuck in our homes, you know, some of us, you know, me personally, have just not been doing anything besides what it feels like working. So I wanted to bring some balance back into my life and I feel like that can help with that. Along with that, I did pick up the meal planner book. Uh, my friend who was there with me, she just referred me to, uh, what is it? Uh, Hello Fresh. And so I'm gonna start trying some of their recipes and things that I like. I'd like to keep in this book and then get some ideas from every um, other places just to start cooking more at home instead of eating out and, and all of that. Try to really focus because one area in my budget that always seems to go over is the food and the groceries. So definitely looking forward to using that one. The next one is the travel journal. Now, like I said, I was there with six friends and you know we, we did our part, made sure we were social distancing and um, being safe while we were out there. That's why we went to Lake Travis because we could be by ourselves in our own little area, um, just the six of us. But after the end of the weekend, we were like, this definitely needs to happen again. And I said, well, I know the perfect planner to pick up for that. So I got the travel journal here so we can start planning out our next trips and also just, you know, remember all the times we have together. And the last one is the budget book. I wanted to take a look at the budget book because as you guys know from watching previous videos, budgeting is a big part of um, my planning. It's what really got me started with planning. And so this budget book, I really wanted to see what was inside, how they use their budgets, uh, get some ideas for my personal budget. Um, but I do use the Erin Condren Life Planner currently for my budget planner. So I'm excited to see what's in here that I can sort of borrow and put into my actual monthly planner. And on top of that, I did go ahead and pick up one of the Petite Planner sleeves. So. Uh, if you guys got this surprise box last season, it came with that sparkly glittery one. I really wanted this blue one when I saw it online. Uh, so I sort of made a shopping list and was like, okay, I hope they have that in the store. So I did go ahead and pick that up. Uh, this one will go better with my style than the sparkly pink one. 
So that's the petite planner that we went through. Next, I'm gonna go into some markers. So I went ahead and picked up the interchangeable uh, pen kit. And I thought I had ordered this with the back to school order that I placed, but I guess I didn't. So when I saw these there, I, I definitely threw those in my cart right away. I picked up the dual tip highlighters in the sort of pastel type colors just for that. And then I picked up some of the wet erase markers. Now I got these two for me. So I got the earth tone kit and the gem tone kit. And then my friend actually sent me back. So I made two trips to the Erin Conrad store cause she wanted a set as well. So I went and picked those up for her. So lots of good markers there from the Erin Conrad store. Next on the list is the Planny Pack. Now this is actually for my friend. It was one of the items she, she texted me and said, hey, if you go back to the Erin Condren store, I think I want a Planny Pack. So went ahead and grabbed this for her while I was there. This is the Flower Power Edition. I also got a ruler. So I saw this during the back to school launch and I've been making my own stickers. So I've been using the clear white one to measure the boxes and things like that to make sure they fit. Um, and I've had a little issues trying to see the white on white. So I thought I'm going to go. I, I was actually about to grab the white one. I said, I'm going to have the same issue. So I got the prism color one or the sort of, uh, I don't know what color you would call this. It's just called colorful. So I grabbed this one just so I could see the numbers on the white background a little bit better. So I'm excited to start using this to make more stickers. Now, like I said, I did, this is the second time I'm recording this. So these are already open. These are the acrylic ombre scissors. And uh, really because uh, for my birthday, I got a Cricut press and a Cricut Joy uh, as my birthday present last, mo last month. And so I've been cutting a lot of vinyl and I needed another pair of scissors that I could use just specifically for crafting and things like that. And I really like these because they were longer and they have, they, they cut really well. So, and I'm left-handed, so they're good for righties or lefties just because the way they're designed. So really like these scissors. Now, I also picked up the desk calendar. I saw someone unbox this, unbox this on YouTube and I was like, I really love the foil on this. Like it just, it looks so clean. Now this one says it starts August, 2020 and ends uh, December, 2021. I'm a little confused just because it has January here on the front, um, but maybe that's just a cover page or something, but I really like the cover. I'm not gonna open this on here cause we've, we're not even halfway through yet all the things that I purchased. So I wanted to keep this a little bit short, but I do really like this monthly desk plan, especially now that I'm gonna be working from home till next year. Uh, this will help me just, I'm gonna have this on my desk, my work desk. So that way I feel a little bit more work and more productive at the office. Sort of having my own little mini office there. Now a couple other things. Uh, just I really got a bunch of accessories. That's what you're gonna see here during this next round So first I got the coil clip connectors the small ones and I also picked up the Coil clip large ones, so I got both sets uh, the small ones come in sets of 12 and the large ones come and a set of four. I like these small ones. I saw on a, I believe it was Marie sticker She uses the little thank you card boards that come with your planners as, as a sort of a legend and uses these to clip them in. So I really liked that idea. I thought I might give that a try one month and see what I think of that. And then the large ones, honestly, they were on the shelf right next to it. So I said, well, why not? Let's just grab both and see, see what we end up using. So the next are these little flags and these guys are so tiny. Like they're, they're really, really small. Um, you'll see here, like this is, this is three, just this set. So it's broken into little containers. There's all sorts of colors here. So you can hold that up and not get too much glare, but all the different colors that come with it. Uh, so for flagging notes uh, and pages and things like that, this is 240 sticky notes. And so I wanted to give these a try as well. 
Last but not least, this is actually for my friend, um, but I went ahead and grabbed them. These are the adhesive corner pockets, so that way you know you can slide sticker sheets or anything like that in the back of your planner. Uh, this is a set of two, so if she does not need both of them, I will probably grab one of them um, because I did actually pick up a planner as well, which I'll show you here next. So the last of the accessories are going to be these little mini magnetic page markers. I ordered the set, I think I ordered a set um, during the back to school collection, the longer ones. And I saw these smaller ones and they say today, notes and to do. And I really just liked that. Um, not sure, I'll probably end up using them in one of these petite planners that I have. Um, but I, I really did like the size. And I really like the magnetic concept because it, it, you know, they're, they're a little bit heftier. They don't just sort of rip off the page. Um, so I really like the magnetic set because you can also reuse them over and over and over again, which I like. Some other accessories, and almost through the accessories, uh, I picked up this stencil sheet. I saw someone on YouTube for the first time, and I'm surprised I saw it. It was someone's plan with me, um, and I've been watching a lot for a long time, so it was very unique to see. But they use these boxes, and I don't know if it, theirs came from Aaron Condren or not but for their to-do list for check boxes instead of stickers. And I was like, well, that would be a whole lot easier because let me tell you, I, I've tried making those boxes and I finally got my last sticker set to fit, but it took a long time to get make sure every single line was centered. So I was like, this is sort of perfect because I can just draw them. Uh, so I wanted to give that a try. This came from the Focus Collection and this is just a really awesome sticky notebook. Um, it has some large sticky notes, some page flag sticky notes, some circle ones, and a little lined paper sticky note. Um, this is part of their focus collection, like I said, and they've got sort of those toned down colors. Uh, but I really did like just, this is very convenient, you know? They don't take up a lot of space. You can take them with you, throw them in your bag, and you've got sticky notes for days in here. Uh, I really hope to see that they do this more often in the future because I've been getting those that snip into your binder, but these are sort of great to just throw in your bag and take with you. Loving those. So, last uh, three accessories, I went ahead and picked up a sticker book, and this is the monthly collection edition five, where you've got the five different, or the monthly sheets here um, in the, all the different foil. I know we're almost through this year, but I can use these next year. I mean, they don't go out of style. Uh, the months always come. And this year, honestly, I don't know how many months deserve stickers. So we'll see how 2021 goes. But uh, I really liked these sheets. And every time I, for some reason, every time I place an order online, it seems like the sticker book I want is out of stock. So to see these on the shelf, uh, I was super excited. I love the 4th of Ju or the July one. Love that whole, whole thing. So I'm excited about this sheet. Gonna probably start using it later. That's awesome. They've got the foil for the bats. Oh, I love October's. November's great. I love the blue foil. And December with all the holiday stickers. Very excited there. So excited I was able to get this because the last couple times I tried, uh, now, I, probably because I always order usually during some sort of launch, but it's like they, oh, that sticker, those sticker books are always sold out. All right, almost to the end, guys. I did pick up this lined kaleidoscope notebook, and this is just to take notes. You've got the gold foil around the edge. It's just sort of like a wide rule, college rule lined notebook. Uh, but they had a sign that said, good for lefties. I'm left-handed, and... Just, I, I like these soft notebooks because they lay flat. And you'll notice the last two planners that I bought were actually the binder, because they just, they're so much easier. I can take the sheet out. Um, my hands don't get in the way when I'm putting stickers in them. I, I really like the binder. Um, and so you'll see I ordered, or I picked up another binder while I was there. I got these, this notepad here, it's just, oh, what a week. And this will allow you to, um, do your months, you just write the day, take notes, maybe your to-do list for each day. And then when you're done, because I use the binder, I can just poke holes in it with the binder punch and put it in my binder for that week and I've got all my notes for that page. So I really like these sheets and I like the fact that they fit in the binder. Like that is, is super smart planning on their part because it makes it just super easy. 
And I think that takes us to, oh, one more accessory, one more. I picked up one of these, <laughs> so one of these. These came with the back to school. This is the hexagon pencil holder, and it, um, I mentioned that I got the Cricut Pre Easy Press and the Cricut Joy for my birthday, and one thing that I ended up going crazy with, and I'll, I'll make a video on it later, but the infusible ink from Cricut is super cool, but I bought a bunch of pens that do it and needed somewhere to store them, so picked up one of those as well. And let's get on to the planner. So the planners, this isn't any special planner. This is gonna be the monthly planner. It's the 18 month version. And, but what I wanna say is when you're at the Erin Condren store, it is really cool how you can make your planner. So there was actually just a shelf and on the shelf you had all the different binders that they had to offer, the solid blue, the navy, uh, the layers pattern, you know, all the different binders that they had. Then they had all the binder sheets down below. You could pick which set of sheets you wanted and also some extra sheets. So I got the take note pack as well, just in case I needed some extra note paper. And then if you want for $5, they will personalize it in store within 15 minutes. Like that was the coolest thing that I've seen because you know personalization usually takes a lot longer. And they do that with the covers, the coil bounds as well. Um, so if you wanted to just buy an additional cover, you could. So I went ahead and picked up this deluxe or the monthly planner. I'm, I'm gonna get that wrong all year. But I did pick up the monthly planner while I was there because I, I have been using the Daily Duo as my budget binder and daily spending tracker. But because of the situation we're in and we're gonna be working from home, my, my company has communicated until August of next year. So we will be home for at least another year. Um, I wanted to probably use that more for my, my work planner and sort of switch over for my budget planner. So I picked this one up uh, so I could start looking at what stickers do I need for this and I, I pretty sure they all will fit because they're the same length. I didn't get the, the eight by 10, I just stick, stuck with the seven by nine. So I'm excited about that. And the last thing that I got from the Aaron Condren store, this was actually sort of a giveaway, but um, they gave me these reusable bags and I got two of them. Um, and they came, I, I don't know if it was for purchasing a certain amount, but Every time I went twice and both times they threw one of these bags in and I'm very excited about them because later that day went to the Disney store and they were like, did you bring a reusable bag or would you like to buy one? I was like, don't we just get a free non reusable bag? But this is becoming more of a thing. So uh, I like these because they fold up super small and then now I don't know if once I unfold it, if I'll ever be able to get it back. But um, I really did like these. So that was my trip to the Erin Condren store. There was a lot of really cool items. I did not purchase any of the store exclusives. Most of them were all Texas focused and I live in Texas. So to me, it seems sort of, okay, what's so special? But uh, maybe I should have picked up one or two. Um, the Halloween collection looks like it just launched today. And I was like, ah, oh, of course on the day I came back home, they launched because I would have probably made a third trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have another video coming soon. My surprise box came in the mail while I was out on vacation. So look for that video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. What was your favorite item that you saw here? And make sure you do hit that bell so you can stay notified when my surprise box video launches coming soon. So thank you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys.